What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Uh, you got some cool bonus footage up there. You get early access to reactions. And every month, I react to a full Broadway musical. Uh, it's a whole lot of fun. Like It's a really good time. So if that interests you, link down in the description. But today, I've actually got a Patreon request. Uh, from one of my amazing patrons, uh, Mariana, she would like me to react to the Tony performance of Memphis the Musical. Uh, I remember watching the Tonys in 2010, and honestly, I think I skipped Memphis because I figured it was about country music. Uh, and if you've watched this channel before, you know I am not a country music fan. Uh, but I am a big fan of judging books by their covers, which I'm trying to stop doing, but... What do you do? Uh, but either way, I am told that this is supposed to be a really, really, really good performance. Uh, also, one of the leads from Come From Away, which I reacted to a little bit ago, is also one of the leads in Memphis, uh, which is pretty cool. So a little connection there. Uh, but yeah, I am excited. Uh, it's a Tony performance, so I'm hoping for a big number. I'm hoping for at least 10, 20 people on stage dancing around. Uh, those are my favorite numbers. Uh, but either way, thank you so much, Mariana. I, I really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get into it. Yes. Please welcome theater aficionado, Mark Sanchez. Ooh, what? <laughs> Why is Mark Sanchez at the Tonys? Good evening. I'm here tonight uh, representing the New York Jets as... All right. Got some Jets fans in the house. Thank you, oh, J-E-T-S. I appreciate it. Um... <laughs> You know, I've become a huge fan of musicals since I've come to New York, and I've taken some heat from guys on the team, believe me. But um, especially Memphis, I've come to love it. The next nominee for Best Musical was, uh, was inspired by actual events, and it follows the relationship of a white radio DJ whose love for music transcends racial lines, and a black singer who can't break out of segregated clubs. But when the two collaborate, the golden era of early rock and roll takes flight. Cool. Here are the Tony nominees, Montego Glover and Chad Kimball, and the cast of Memphis. Okay, real quick before we get into Memphis. Uh, first off, very cool premise. I did not know that. I'm excited. But I finally just get the chance to talk about football. Please give me 15 seconds. Mark Sanchez, that gentleman that just introduced this number, is responsible for the greatest blooper in the history of the NFL. He was running with the ball. He ran into his own teammate's butt, fell down, and lost the ball. It's known as the butt fumble, and it is the greatest thing that has ever happened in the NFL and that is hilarious that he announced this. Oh my god. Okay, let's get back into actual Memphis. <laughs> Huey, sometimes I think you tried to change the world and then you refused to change with it. I listen to advice from folks smarter than me. Mm, and I ignored it I listened to music From folks darker than me And you know I adore it Then comes a point in every Whoa. 
god! Ooh. Oh my god! Wow. Yeah, wow, that. Good God. That was so entertaining. Oh my God. This might, I don't want to jump the gun here, but as far as like big number, big choreography, amazing dancing, this might be the best Tony performance that I have ever seen. That was incredible. Uh, let's go ahead and get big. This is what a Tony Awards performance should be. Oh my God. It was furiously entertaining. Like if I was in New York thinking like, oh, I wonder what show I'll go to. And I watched the Tonys that year to decide this would be it. This would be the show. I don't know what else was nominated this year, but it would have been this because that was so high energy and so much fun. And the acrobatics, like I've seen big numbers at the Tonys before, but I have never seen that many like inversions. Like everybody was doing backflips, front flips. It, it was ridiculous. And not only were they doing all of that, but it was so in sync too. It doesn't make any sense. That is so cool. And honestly, most Broadway actors can do this. So if you've got 30 people that can do this, do a number like this in your show because I will be thinking about this number for a very long time. This was excellent. Uh, really, the only, like, the only even mini detraction I had was I feel like at the beginning, there was some kind of issue with like uh, Huey, I think his name is, uh, that his mic, it sounded really echoey and just super weird. But then when they got to like the whole big everybody dancing uh, number, it kind of worked itself out or I think he was using a different microphone. But other than that, this was phenomenal. The song had a great message. The song had a wonderful mes message, which is always a nice little plus. Uh, but no, oh, man. Both of the leads, too, were amazing. Uh, the gentleman from Come From Away. Uh, and then the lady that I don't think I know. Like, I don't think I've seen her in anything. But she was really good. Like, she is very talented. She's got an excellent voice. A very strong, natural vibrato. I would very much like to listen to more of her. So if anybody knows what else she has been in. Like, the female lead uh, in the red dress. Please let me know that down in the comments. But... Yeah, this was fantastic. I can only imagine that it won the Tony for Best Choreography. In fact, if it didn't, I would think that that is just really a hell of a shame. And I need to watch the one that did win for Best Choreography. Because if anything could beat this out, that is just crazy. And I need to see it. Uh, the one person that I was really surprised with, uh, when the three dudes came out, at the one guy with the suspenders holy crap could that guy move especially for a bigger dude like I always find that so impressive just being so light on your feet 
it doesn't make any sense, but it's so much fun to watch. And yeah, he killed it. He did such a good job. I don't know what else he was in. Uh, I feel like he looked kind of similar to the uh, the gentleman that played the genie in Aladdin, but that might just be the goatee. Uh, for some reason, I find people with goatees all look alike. Um, but yeah, so please, if it's not the gentleman from Aladdin, please let me know down in the comments who that guy is as well. Because, yeah, I'd love to see more of him singing and dancing because he is, like, really good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have to ask, though, is the whole show, like, this high energy? Or is this, like, the one number where it's like, oh my god, and then everything else is good, but this is, like, the pinnacle of it? Because, yeah, if it's all this high energy, then I definitely need to find a copy of this somewhere and give it a watch. Because, yeah, I, I am really excited. Uh, I love the fact the band was on stage as well. Like, in most shows, if I see the band actually there, like, you know, dressed up on stage, this gives them a little more, I don't know, like, advertising. And it's just fun to see, at, at least for me. I, I love seeing the band on stage. But literally everything about this was so good like the entirety of the choreography not just the flipping upside down and the crazy stuff but everything was so big and so tight it it, it could not get any better like as far as as far as choreography goes my previous top two tony performances were newsies uh the one with jeremy jordan and Catch Me If You Can, the one with uh, Norbert Leo Butts and Aaron Tveit, uh, Don't Break the Rules, I think it was in 2011. Uh, those were both amazing. They were both big numbers, a lot of dancing. But this one, I don't know what it is, but I think this one might have broken through to the best one of all time. I'm going to have to maybe rewatch them, or I just maybe shouldn't rank them, because who needs to rank Tony performances, but... Yeah, this was awesome. Uh, Mariana, thank you so much for letting me know about this. I cannot believe that I didn't watch it so many years ago, but I'm so glad that I finally got around to it. Just goes to show you, don't judge books by their covers. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you all in a reaction very soon.